Hello everybody. Um, I'm going to teach you guys today how to make a trumpet inside of Onshape. So we're going to go to aaps.onshape.com. And the reason we're trying to teach you guys this, and I've heard of this a lot, like why are we doing this? What is the purpose? Each one of these um, kind of revolves around a topic area. So in this case, we're going to learn about a feature called Sweep and Revolve. Um, so we're going to go to the Onshape logo, or you can go to Documents, whatever one you want, after you're signed in. You're going to see teams over here on the left and all company users like we did for the rocker arm. Um, you're going to see trumpet. Double click trumpet. Yours is going to come up here and say copy. Um, you're not going to be able to edit this at all. So you're going to have to come to the stack and you're going to copy workspace. Make sure you put your name before the title itself. So for example, um, my last name and then trumpet. Press OK. It'll create a whole other copy um, and then you'll be able to work at your leisure in this um, kind of area workspace so from here um, the first kind of step I'm not gonna bring open the walkthrough here um, I'm just gonna kind of talk through it um, so the first thing you're gonna use is sweep and sweep is up here sweep allows you to take a face or region and follow a specific path so in this case we want just the outside path not the inside just the outside profile here um, and we want it to follow this path and you'll see that it kind of keeps it hollow that's why we don't select that inside piece um, but that's not the only thing we want it to follow. We're going to continue and we want it to follow this edge as well as this edge as well as this edge and finally this edge right here. Now once it does that we're good to go um, with that first sweep. We can leave all the other commands, press screen check mark and now we have the tubing for our trumpet. Um, the next feature you're going to see is what we call Revolve. So Revolve is the second one here from After Extrude. And what it does is similar, but it takes an existing profile and wraps it around an axis that you define. So think of this as just wrapping this profile around this axis. And the axis we're going to choose is the one that's in the center of this tube. And you'll see it takes that profile and wraps it around. Very cool. Um, and we can leave all this. It's going to add it. This is what we want. We're going to press the green check mark. And now we have um, starting to look like already a um, trumpet. The next one um, we're going to do is another revolve. And again, this is just all just practice. Revolve here. And we're going to select this profile. And we're going to wrap it around this axis. And it'll create the mouthpiece um, that wraps around that whole entire object. Very cool again. Press the green check mark. The last thing is the valve system. So we're going to hit the extrude button and we are going to select all three of these and you'll see that they kind of go through you can bring this up um, the measurement in the document says 7.25 so I'm gonna hit that and I'm gonna have you know leave it to add press the green check mark and then you're going to see um, over here in the browser there's some sketches that I've created obviously please don't mess with any of these because it's just gonna mess um, your whole document up but what you're gonna do is you're gonna press extrude and you're gonna select sketch 8 I've already created a sketch embedded into this piece, so it'll make it a little easier for you guys. And you're going to hit remove, and you are going to, it should change the direction. If it doesn't, remember, there's a little arrow here that changes that direction to, to make it go up and down. And we only want this to go 0.5. You select 0.5, and you hit the green check mark, and now you have your valve system, um, and you're good to go. That is it for the trumpet. Um, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please ask your teacher. Thanks, guys.